Hi students, my name is Vidyash Narashet, I am from Manara. So last class we discussed about the topic from 8th standard that is concept of force. In concept of force we discussed about what is meant by force and uh, forces due to an interaction and exploring forces we are done with that. So let us move on to the next topic that is some of the uses of forces. Okay, so here we have to study about forces can change the state of motion and forces can change the shape of an object. So here we have to discuss about. So before going to the forces can change the state of an object, we have to know about some of the states of motion. So firstly we have to know about that one. That is, so there are two states of motion are there. That means the states of states of motion. So firstly we will take the stationary state. So firstly, first one it is the stationary state. Stationary state. Or we can say it as a state of rest. State of rest. Secondly, the state of motion. State of motion. Yes. So there are two states of motion are there. So that means when we are taking the motion, that means some are in the stationary state, that means it's in the rest state, that means here the speed is zero. So in this case, the speed is zero. Yes. Here speed is zero, that means the object doesn't move at all, doesn't change its place from one place to another place. So here it is, the state is remain, remains stationary here. So the object is in the same place, doesn't move at all. So that means here, a, we call it as a stationary state or resting. So another state is the state of motion. So that means here the object moving in the direction of force or moving in some direction here. So that means here speed is three. Speed is not equal to zero. Here speed, speed is not zero. So there are two states of motion. So one is the stationary state and or we can call it as a state of rest and another one is the state of motion that means the mo object is in the motion. So let us take the forces. The forces can change the state of a motion. That means so when we are applying forces so the state of a motion changes from stationary state to state of motion and when we are applying some of the forces in some direction then the state of motion changes its state to stationary state this is the concept is very simple that is in one case it changes state from the rest to motion and in some other case it changes state from motion to rest so there are some cases are there so let us discuss about that cases so firstly i will take the case one So here we have to study about forces can change the state of a motion. This forces can change the state of state of motion. State of forces can change the state of yes, the state of motion here. So firstly I will consider the case one that is when the object is in a stationary state. That means firstly the object is in a rest. This is an object so it's in the stationary state. When I am applying forces, when I am applying forces it moves in the direction of force. That means the state of rest. Initially it's in the state of rest. After applying force it comes to the state of motion here. So this is the first case that is is one when a body or when an object when an object is at rest is at rest after applying the forces after applying the forces after applying the force it comes to the state of motion it comes to the to the state of 
comes to the state of motion. That means here initially it has a speed zero. So that means it has zero speed. So we have already learned that one in stationary state or in state of rest, the speed will be zero. After applying the force, the speed increases. The speed of an object increases in the direction of force. That means here speed is increases. Speed of an object. Object increases, increases after applying the forces. After the application of, after the application of force. So, for example, we already learned that that is in football. So, in football, the initial point, the starting point of a game is so the ball will be remain stationary at the middle of the ground so the umpire will take the ball so it's initially it's in the stationary state so after that the, when the game starts the player the player firstly kick the ball so who is going who is going to uh, kick the ball means so it will decide it from the toss so after that so the player uh, who won who won the, the toss so he will apply some of the forces to the ball after that so the ball will move initially it's in the form of its state of rest after that it will move in the direction of applied force then the game will begin so this is the first case the when the object is at rest after applying some amount of force it comes to the state of rest that means here when we are taking the example as and in case of beginning of football, beginning of football, football, the football game, the ball initially at rest, the ball initially at rest, initially at rest, after applying force, after applying the force, applying the force, the game starts. The game starts, or the ball will move in the direction of force, or the ball move, move in the direction of the ball move. Beginning of football game, we are taking this case. So that means the ball is initially at rest. After applying force, it will move in the direction of forces. So let us move on to the next case. Yes, the next case tells us that so here the ball is initially in motion. The ball is initially in motion. So, after application of force, the ball will come to the rest. The object comes to the rest here. So, that means the case 2. I will take the case 2 here. When an object, when an object initially, initially in the state of in the state of in the state of motion after application of force after application of after application of force after application of force it changes its state to rest. That means here the ball is initially in motion. So here the box is initially in motion. Here I will apply in this direction force. So here I will apply some amount of forces in this direction. Here the ball will remain stationary or here the box 
it changes its state of motion to rest state that means it's a stationary state here that means here so when we are taking when we are applying that forces in this direction means so here the speed will be reduced the speed will be decreases here so up to zero so when we are continuously keep on applying that forces in the opposite direction of motion means so here the speed will be decreases at some amount of time it will come to the zero that means here speed will be decreases speed will be decreases decreases and comes to comes to zero when it is saying when it when it comes to zero means it it having a state of rest here so for example when already we know that in football game we already learned that so in football game when we when the goalkeeper wants to stop the goal wants to stop the goal so that the ball is initially in motion so when we apply force when we are applying force and when we are stopping that ball so he has to apply some forces in the opposite direction and holds that ball then the ball will remain stationary here so then for that so the best example for this case is so to stop the goal in football that means goalkeeper goalkeeper wants to stop wants to stop the goal so in that case the ball is initially in motion after application of forces by the goalkeeper it comes to the rest here so this is about the case too when it is in the motion we have to apply some forces to uh, reduce their speed and comes to a rest and comes to the state of motion here so let us move on to the case 3 yes in case the the object is in motion so initially the object is in motion here so here so first case in first case there is a changes of state of motion here that means for initially in state rest rest state after that it comes to the state of motion in second case it initially in the state of motion it comes to the state of rest here the third case tells us that to increase the motion that means initially the object is in motion after that after the application force the speed will be increases that means it continues in the state of motion only with higher velocity that means here we have to apply in a same direction apply higher forces compared to the previous higher forces compared to the previous in the same direction of forces here that means the case 3 tells us that case 3 tells us that when an object initially in the state of motion when an object when an object initially initially in the state of motion in some direction in some direction after application of force or some direction with some velocity with some speed okay it's a initial case the object is initially in the state of motion in some direction in some with some speed so it's it travel with some speed after application of force in the same direction of motion that is here yeah, after application after application of force or higher force higher force in the same direction of motion in the same direction of motion same direction of motion in the same direction of motion the ball or the object moves with a higher velocity higher speed in the same direction of motion the object the object will move the object will move in the higher velocity or with the 
the box will move with the higher velocity with with the higher velocity with the higher velocity or higher speed in same direction of motion in same direction of motion direction of motion yes. so here the box is move in this direction i want to move in the, move this box in this direction only with the higher speed so that means the action will be quicker so we want in a lesser time the action will be done so that means for that the initially the box will move in this direction state of motion after the application of force it will move in the higher velocity or higher speed it will be move in the same direction for that we have to apply the higher force in the same direction of motion so this is about third case for example so in the same football game so in football game so when we are taking the penalty kick or uh, when we are so the in, the player takes the ball up to the goal up to the goal after 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 he wants to after he wants to take a goal or uh, uh, win the match or after that player decided to take a goal means he has to apply the same amount of force in the same direction he has to apply the force in the same direction of goal so with the higher velocity that means he has to move in a higher velocity higher speed he has to take the goal or higher with the higher forces he has to apply on the goal ball so here when we are taking the penalty kick or when we are taking the goal so he has to apply more amount of forces in the same direction then the ball will move in a higher velocity or higher speed compared to the previous that means for example for example so in football so penalty kick penalty kick that means so here penalty kick means when you have to take the goal when you have to score a goal so we have to apply more amount of forces and the ball will be move in a higher velocity it will cheat it will cheat the goalkeeper or it will uh, pass from the goalkeeper so likewise it happens in the case of three okay so let us move on to the next case that is in the case of direction we have to change the direction of an object so initially it's in the state of motion in particular direction we have to change in a different direction okay so here we have to cheat some of the players in a football so that means so we have to divert that ball from the player so in this case we have to take the case four that is so here initially the object or ball in the same one direction some direction so we have to apply the force in different direction means so it will move with the different direction so let us go to the case four the case four when an object when an object when an object initially in some direction initially in state of motion initially in state of motion motion in for some direction some direction after application of force in different direction means here after application of application of force in different direction different direction the box or the ball the object will change its initial direction the ball will changes the ball will changes its changes its initial direction initial direction 
direction and move with another direction and move with and move with direction of application of force move with direction of of application of force direction of application of application of force so here the ball will initially in the state of motion the object is initially in the state of motion in particular direction so here we want to move in a different direction means we have to apply force in that direction we want so required direction we have to apply the forces here so for example so this box is initially is in a this direction in this direction it moves like this so or in this direction in your direction it moves like this when i am applying forces in this direction it moves like this that means it changes the direction initially in this direction of motion in this move direction so after application of force in this direction it will move in the direction of application of force here so this is about the four cases so for example here for example here we have to divert the football in case of the uh, football game so we have to divert that ball from the another player or opposite opposition player so here we have to take the pass the ball to the another player that means passing the ball pa passing in football we are taking it as a passing the ball in football player wants to pass player wants to pass the ball pass the ball to his teammate 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 and divert and divert from and divert it from the from the opposition divert it from the opposition means here the ball will initially in the in some direction so player wants to divert that ball from the opposition so some player wants to take that ball from this uh, from him so at that case the player so pass the ball so pass, wants to pass the ball to his teammates for that he changes his direction of ball the motion of the ball so he wants when he wants to divert that ball when he wants to change his direction of state of motion of a ball that time he applies some amount of forces in different direction then the ball will divert from the opposition then it will come to or it will uh, pass to the his teammates so likewise here the force will be responsible for the state of uh, motion of an object here so this is about the force can change the state of an object these four examples so these four cases it tells us that the force can change the state of an motion of an object here so let us move on to the next topic that is forces can change the shape of an object forces can change the state shape of an object shape of an object yes so here the forces are responsible for the changing changing shape of an object here so that means when we are considering the spring so pull the spring on both sides that means the shape of an object is changes here we have to apply forces in different direction here also here also we have to apply in different direction so in tug of war also we are taken it as a, in the, some of the forces that is are in the different direction but in this case in this case of spring so when we are taken the spring up, uh, apart from the uh, rope so here uh, we have to take the spring means that when we are pulling the spring in both sides means it will change the shape of an object spring so it will contract so here it will uh, uh, increases its length here increase it increases its length so this is about
forces can change the shape of an object in case of spring also when we are taking the balloon so press the balloon in both ends so it will contract so here it will it will reduce its volume so like that so sometimes it will burst us. so like that so likewise the actions are happening here so when we are when we are applying some of the forces to the object for example this box so here i am applying this box, some of the amount of forces in this box so it's the volume of the box or the shape of the box some changes are there so when we are taking this chalk piece so this is in some length so i, I hope it's a two made two 3 cm, 4 cm. So when I am applying forces, it changes its shape. Yes, the, it cuts into two pieces. So that means here forces are responsible for the changing shape of an object. So this is about some of the uses of forces. So sometimes it will be helpful to us, sometimes it will be harmful to us. So there are many cases out there. So apart from that, we have to learn in a physics. That means Physically, we have to know about forces. That means we have to change, the force can change the state of an object and the force can change the shape of an object. So here, the both the uses are there. So I hope you know about it. Know about if you know about it, means you have to enjoy this physics. So because the if you want to know about forces, that means, so when it is harmful, when it is helpful, Okay, so aware of that, so from the awareness we have to apply some of the forces to some of the objects. That is, so when we are applying forces on glasses, so that means that it changes the shape of an object, but it will be very harmful to us, very very harmful to us because so it will uh, some bleeding, it will cause some of the bleedings in our hands. So like that happens here, and when we are taking some of the uh, forces when you are applying some of the forces in some of the objects like TV, laptop, those are very sensitive materials and when you are uh, throwing any mobiles and uh, when you are hitting on the TVs, so then only we have to must aware of that when we are applying those forces in some of the objects very uh, sensitive materials, so we have to must aware of that, so when we are going to apply force, when we are when we have to apply some of the amount of forces to which object okay so i hope you learned that one so forces can change the state of an emotion and forces can change the shape of an object i hope you enjoyed this physics so those who are watching this video for the first time please subscribe our channel and uh, thank you one and all be safe and stay home thank you